to speak and then Commissioner Moss. But yes, and uh, just just to clarify here, so be, besides the, the site plan um, uh, or the site location, uh, number eight, the modification would basically now give them the ability to tap into the aquifer, which they do not have right now. Is that correct? Correct, number eight, yes. Okay. And, and I wasn't around here during 2007, but I'm just curious, uh, and maybe some folks from FPNL could answer a, a quick question. Um, they talked about it, Commissioner Diaz talked about whether or not this was gonna happen. Um, one of the factors uh, on whether or not the construction of um, of Unit 6 and 7, does it depend on the ability for FPNL to uh, ship energy or electricity outside of Miami-Dade County? Um. <clears throat> If I understand your question, Commissioner, the uh, bulk of the power generated at Turkey Point will be used within Miami-Dade County. In fact, all of the transmission that's added as a result of this project... Okay, I, I understand, Turkey County. Point, but I'm talking about Unit 6 and 7 specifically. Because what I'm trying to determine is, and you know, we talked a lot about the public benefit, so you, we're going to give you permission to tap into our aquifer mm -hmm. for, this, uh, for Unit 6 and 7. I want to understand what we're getting out of Unit 6 and 7. If Unit 6 and 7, the majority of the power generated by those units go outside of Miami-Dade County, I want to be hard-pressed to understand why we should give you the potential to tap into our water so that you can ship out electricity. Electrons don't obey fences, but what I can say is that during the, the high use times in the winter and in the summer, when you have the biggest periods of use, over 50% of the power consumed in Miami-Dade County comes from outside the county. As we continue to grow, as the urban core becomes more dense and the high rises continue, that power consumption continues to go up. At this point in time, what we're proposing with Turkey Point 6 and 7 helps us maintain the balance of a certain amount of generation located close to where it's being consumed to keep the transmission system balanced. So I can't tell you that 100% of all electricity generated at Turkey Point 6 and 7 will always remain within Miami-Dade County. But for the overall transmission and power operation, it one, it remains all within uh, FPL territory. And then within um, most of the time, it's pretty much consumed near where it's produced. Okay, so I'll go back to my, my original question. So outside of the governmental permitting and, and all those factors of approvals that need to, to move forward is um, one of the conditions of these units being built, your ability to be able to ship power outside of Miami-Dade County? It is it's a yes or no question. I mean, is it, is it one, of the, one of the factors? Is it going to play into the decision making? In the, at the state level, yes, sir. Thank you. Commissioner Moss. 